We have a Bible study tonight in the church. Elder Eunice will also going to introduce us to our new music pastor and his family. Take care of your cousins when they arrive. Be careful, sweetie. Call if you need something. See you later. I hope that they have a daughter my age. I'm just saying. I know, sweetie. Go ahead. You'll be late for school. Bye, mom. See you later. Yes, they're here. Rachel, Paul, Jeremiah, finally, you're here. Hey, Addie. Hold your horses, girl. Hello, Addie. Nice to see you again. I miss you so much, cousin. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Let's go inside and eat. No. We're off. Why don't you tour us around your neighborhood instead? Yeah, you can also take us to your new church. Sure, the church is close by. Thank you. Let's go. Wow, I like your new place, Addie. It's so peaceful and quiet. Yeah. I'm glad we came here, Addie. Yeah, that's right. Wait until you see our church. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Really? Let's see and investigate. Here goes the young detective again, in search of unresolved mysteries. That's the idea, Addie. We need to look around to find new mystery. Shall we? Let's go, Joe Hardy and Nancy Drew. All right. Let's go. I really like the ambience of this church. Let's look around. Let's go this way. It's the pastoral house, Rachel. I don't know if we are allowed to go there. It's getting interesting. Why? Are they hiding something from the members? Exactly. We're just taking a sneak peek. Let's do and find out. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful out here. We've been going to this church for six months but I haven't been here. It's mind-blowing. It's so peaceful out here. Let's go back inside. We've seen enough. Wait, do you hear that? I heard something. Hold on. A music? A heavy metal rock music? It's coming this way. Let's follow the sound. Let's go, guys. I want to introduce you to the ladies. Why do we have to meet those people, Adam? Yeah. Adam. The what? Hey, you two brats. It's Dad. Did you hear me? You better behave or else. Sheesh. Go now. And put away your cigarettes and liquor. We better get out of here, guys. Hurry up, guys, before they see us. What are we going to do, Paul? We have no choice but to tell your mom about it. But what if Aunt Chrissy don't believe us? What are we going to do then? All we can do is to try, Jerry. I'm sure Aunt Chrissy will believe us. Maybe, if we tell her what we saw. Tell me about what? Aunt Chrissy. Hello there, Aunt Chrissy. Hello there, kids. What are you doing here? It's already dark. Let's talk inside. Look at you. You're all grown up. Nice to see you, guys. How's your mom and dad doing? They're fine, Aunt Chrissy. That's good to know. Well, I overheard you say something. Care to share about it? I'm not sure if you're going to believe us, Mom. Yes. And also we are not sure about what we saw and heard. One thing for sure. 
the two teenagers were dancing. And there were bottle of liquors then plus cigarettes. Who's dancing? What liquor and cigarettes are you talking about? Earlier we walk around the church property, and we went at the back side of the church. We saw a house at the very back. It looks like the pastoral house. When we're about to leave, we heard a music, and we follow the music. And that's when we saw, two teenagers were dancing in a secular music. There were empty bottles of liquors on the table, and cigarette butts everywhere. That's odd. Maybe they're just the caretaker's kids, you know. Maybe. But here's the interesting part. A guy came and told them to clean up their mess. And he said that he wanted to introduce them to the ladies. Really? I was there last night. And the new music pastor introduced his two teenage kids to us. Is the pastor's name Adam? That's right, Rachel. Pastor Adam is our new music pastor. Then why did they call him Adam instead of Dad? I don't get it. Well, I am buffled like you. I don't know either. Let's talk about it tomorrow, kids. And maybe go back there to investigate. <laughs>My lord, who are those kids? Did you see the clothes they're wearing? For Pete's sake, this is the house of God. Unbelievable. I wonder who they are. Hello there, Sister Sharon. Sister Anna, how are you? Good afternoon, Sister Sharon and Sister Anna. These are my nephews, Paul and Jerry, and their sister Rachel. How do you do, ma'am? How do you do, ma'am? How do you do, ma'am? I'm fine, dear. Why the long face, Sharon? I'm just beside myself, Alice. I don't understand why there are people who can't respect the house of God. What do you mean? Look at those two kids over there. Why they're wearing inappropriate clothing. Those are the kids of Pastor Adam. Seriously, what a shame. Tell me about it. How disgusting. Good afternoon, church. I'm Pastor Adam, your new worship pastor. And this is my beautiful wife, Martha. And my kids Austin and Aria. We want to thank you, guys, for welcoming my family. I will assure you that we will do our best to be the worship pastor in this church. Good night and God bless you all. I'm so happy to be here. Alice and Catherine. Oh, we are so blessed to have you here, Pastor Adam. We're looking forward to getting to know you more, Pastor Adam and Martha. Likewise, ladies, I look forward to getting to know you more. Well, Martha, we can also help you unpack if you want to. Just give us a holler. Oh, thanks ladies. My wife really needs some help. Yes, thank you so much, Alice and Catherine. See you tomorrow then. I'll bring my daughter and my nephews and niece to help. It sounds great. See you then. We've been going to this church for six months and I didn't know that this is a pastoral house. It's so beautiful out here, Aunt Chrissy. I know. I wonder what kind of people they are. If you know what I mean. Exactly. After what we've seen yesterday. We will find out today. It's the Pastor Adam. He's smoking. Are those the ladies from the church? I don't get it. Why they are dancing? Mom, I don't feel like going anymore. I don't know what's going on either, Addie. But let's go inside to find out what's happening. You're right, Aunt Chrissy. But honestly, I have a bad feeling about this.
Hey, Alice, come on in. Hey, guys, it's time to party. Hey, 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 welcome to our humble abode. Hi, I'm Aria. Do you want some beer? No. I don't drink. I don't drink either. Hey, dude, I'm Austin. And you are? I'm Paul. This is my brother Jerry. And my sister Rachel. And cousin Addison. Want some beer or red horse? Cigarette maybe? No, we're good. Wow, you don't know what you're missing, Paul. Yeah. You're missing out, Paul. We don't drink and smoke. We're followers of Christ. <laughs> And so do I. We're all Christians here, Paul. Are you saying that because we drink, smoke and dance to a secular music, we're no longer Christians? Seriously, you're so legalists, you know. There's nothing wrong if you drink or smoke once in a great while. Or party. Yeah, stop being a party pooper. Let's dance and have fun. Let's drop it, darling. Try to respect their opinion, okay? To be honest, we're not legalists or party poopers. Our parents are missionaries and they taught us that, although we are in the world, we're not of the world. We're not supposed to conform to the pattern of this world. We are supposed to be the light for others, so they can find Jesus through us. <laughs> You're so boring, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think we can stay here. We have to go. I'm sorry, Alice. It's all right. We agree to disagree. Let's go, kids. Good evening, guys. Christmas is just around the corner. So, Pastor Adam and I came up with idea. We want to have a community outreach this Christmas. Well, let's take a five minute break then let's meet up at the lobby. Well, do you have any suggestions? What about inviting the people around our community so they can hear the word of God? The young people can also help distribute the flyers. It sounds boring to me. I have an idea. Why not do a community concert? Yes. Like the music team can sing contemporary Christian music and minister to people. No. You'll scare the people away. People hate religion. I know, let's invite the people and let's have a karaoke night. What do you think, Pastor Eli? That's a great idea, Austin. That's right, we're going to raise the roof. Sounds good to me. Karaoke night, I believe it's not proper to do that. This is the house of God. Alice was right, we cannot do that. We're supposed to bring them to Christ. I agree with Sister Anna and Dallas. We shouldn't compromise in order to please the world. Paul said in Romans 12, verse 2, Don't be like the people of this world, but let God change the way you think. Hold on, guys. In my opinion there's nothing wrong about karaoke night, as long as the lyrics are clean. Besides, God understands us. This is another way of evangelism. Besides, there's no scriptures in the Bible that says, you cannot sing secular songs or dance. My dad was right. Don't act so holy. We cannot win them if we acted holier than thou. As long as we can minister to them. As a matter of fact, you can go to the club and minister to people out there. But if you go there, drink one bottle of beer so you won't offend the person you are witnessing with. You can also drink alcohol in moderation because Paul told Timothy, not just drink water but also drink wine. 
Absolutely. Look at me, I have tattoos on my left arm. And there's nothing wrong with it. What? Really? The most important thing is we minister to them the gospel. I'm sorry, Pastor Eli and Pastor Adam. I don't want to be rude. But if we do that we're compromising. The Lord wants us to be different and to separate ourselves from the world. Aunt Chrissy was right. Why bring the world to the church? If we can show them love and point them to Christ. I understand your concern but we need to create a program that will entice the unbelievers to attend our church. We don't need programs or propaganda to entice the unbelievers. What they need is Jesus. What's wrong with your people? Why compromise to please the world? What the people need is the presence of God. That's the problem of most churches today. We lose our compassion for the lost souls. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Everything that you guys said are true. We're doing this to serve the community. To make it easier, let's take a vote. If you agree to have a Sunday karaoke night community outreach, say, I agree. 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 I don't agree. Me either. We disagree. We disagree. I agree. So it means we're going to have a Sunday karaoke night community outreach for Christmas. We better get going. Let's go kids. Let's go, Sharon. Unbelievable. For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from them, and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. 2 Corinthians 6.17 Youth on the rock, Jesus is the rock. For young people and old alike, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.